our today's topic is retained earnings here in this lesson i'll show you how to calculate retained earnings closing balance here in the question we have opening balance we have some related items now we will take this all items to calculate the closing balance okay so today we will take a question from 2023 IGCC accounting first paper I'll show you how to answer so before we start let us see the question first Q limited prepares its financial statements to 31st March each year the company's retained earnings at 1st April 2022 were $16,250. During the year ended 31st March 2023, the company made a profit of $43,500 after charging all expenses and interest. The total dividend of $39,000 for the year were paid by 31st March 2020. Three. So here our requirement is calculate the return earnings of Q Limited at 31st March 2023. Okay. So this is our question. Now we will see how to calculate. Okay. So you have seen on the question we have already written earnings. We have a written earnings opening balance. Yeah. So now we will figure out the closing balance. Okay. So here what things what items are included to calculate the closing balance of return earnings you know profit for the year will be added to the return earnings and all the expenses like dividend paid proposed dividend transfer to general reserve these uh, items will be subtracted okay then we'll find return earnings closing balance okay so here on the question we have return earnings opening balance let us write this one first okay so here we will write retained earnings at 1st April 2022 okay here on the question the amount is 16,250 dollars okay so now here on the question we have profit for the year after charging all the expenses and interest okay if interest is not charged then we need to subtract interest as it is an expense from the profit for the year yeah so here in this question we don't have to minus just we will write directly here profit for the year so let us write okay so here the amount is forty three thousand five hundred dollars okay great then here we have dividend paid yeah so it is an expense so before we subtract dividend paid we will sum up these two amounts okay so here if we add up these two amounts we get fifty nine thousand seven hundred fifty dollars okay the total of these two amounts okay great now here dividend paid it, it is an expense we will subtract this expense from this amount okay so let us write here less or minus whatever you prefer we will write here dividend paid so the amount is thirty nine thousand dollars okay so we will subtract this amount from this total okay what you get if we subtract we get here twenty thousand seven hundred fifty dollars okay so this is the closing amount okay we will write here retained earnings at 31st March 2023 okay so this is how you have to calculate the closing balance of retained earnings so here in this question if we, if we would have some more transactions like if we had a dividend proposed dividend or if we have general reserve which to be transferred then we would subtract from here 
So our next tutorial will be very important. There I'll show you how to prepare balance sheet means statement of financial position of a limited company.